Hey everybody, it's Brett here with The Tuning School, and in this video we're going to be talking about a solution to wideband data logging using the new HP Tuners MPVI2 with the AEM X-Series Wideband with OBD integration. So at the time this video was shot, these new HP Tuners MPVI2 units don't have the ability to receive an analog input on the side of the unit like the old units used to be able to. This means that it's difficult to actually record a wideband, an external wideband, inside the VCM Suite scanner. Now a solution to this is this AM X Series wideband with OBD integration. What this wideband does, it actually operates on the CAN bus, so it passes straight through the unit itself rather than wiring into the side. Now this unit right here from AEM is only going to work on vehicles that are equipped with CAN bus. This means anything from 2007 to present, so you have to keep that in mind when using this unit. Now let's talk about what comes in the box. Firstly, you have your AEM gauge that you see here. This is going to display the actual AFR. It's got a really nice sweeping LED. It's really easy to read at any time of day or night. It's got two plugs on the back of it that you see here. You're going to plug two cables into it. So the first cable is going to be the one that you see here. Now this is going to go from the unit to the O2 sensor, which is this guy right here. Next, the next cable you have to worry about is this guy right here, and this is going to go from the back of the wideband itself to the OBD2 port. Now this side of the port here is going to plug into the car, and then your HB Tuners unit is going to plug onto the other side. Lastly, you have your power and ground. Now on these AM units, it comes just like this with two terminated wires. So you can either wire it into the car, or if you buy from the tuning school, we include this cigarette lighter that you see here that you can actually attach to these wires so it's easy to transfer back and forth between the cars. So that's what's gonna come with the AEM kit. But there's one more thing you should, should consider adding to your purchase, which is this Innovate exhaust clamp right here. This is the last piece of the puzzle to make this all transferable from car to car because this makes it easy to put the O2 sensor in the tailpipe pipe of the car rather than getting underneath it and installing it that way. So now that you know what comes in the box, let's talk about how to actually hook it up to the car and get it installed in the software. So now we're gonna hook up the cables to the unit itself. The O2 sensor cable is actually going to go on the bottom, so it's going to go here. But there's no need to worry because the plugs are actually different sizes, so you can't really get it wrong. Next, you have the plug for the OBD2 port, which is going to go here. Once you get those two things hooked up, we can come over here and we can actually hook up our O2 sensor ourselves, And then we can actually install the Innovate exhaust clamp onto the O2 sensor, and we're now ready to go. We have the AEM wideband hooked up, powered by the cigarette lighter with the Innovate exhaust clamp and the tailpipe. Now let's actually get it working inside our VCM Suite scanner that you see here. The first thing we're gonna need to do is turn the key on for the vehicle you're trying to work with. So we're gonna reach in here, turn the key on, and then we're gonna click the connect to vehicle button that you see at the top of the screen here. With the vehicle connected, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to vehicle at the top of the screen we're going to click Repull for Supported Parameters. Now we're going to do this just to make sure that it actually sees that the AEM is hooked up to it. Now that we've repulled for the supported parameters, we're going to right click anywhere inside the channels list. We're going to select Add Channel. Now to add this particular wideband, what we're going to do is we're going to use the text filter and we're going to type in WB and it's gonna come up with WB EQ ratio one that you see here. So we're gonna double click on that. And once we've double clicked on it, it's now added to our channels list. Now, if we fire the vehicle up, you'll see that this actually starts recording. And actually I can start recording now and you'll see if I click start scanner, it's actually got a reading coming out of it. Now, at the moment, it's in Lambda, and for everybody, this might not necessarily be the best way that you wanna read your air-fuel ratio. You might wanna do it using AFR rather than Lambda. So what you can do is if you stop your scanner, you can actually right-click on this particular channel, and we can go over to Units. And we could choose any unit that we would like here. So we have different stoics for different uh, types of fuel. 
So for what we're doing today, we're going to select air fuel ratio for a stoic of 14.7, which is for gasoline. So if we click on this, and we start recording again, you'll see that it now displays an AFR. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fire the vehicle up so we can see this thing recording in real life. So you'll see here in a second, eventually here the O2 sensor will start getting a reading. You'll see that it starts coming down, or right around 14.7. You see that the AM itself here is actually displaying what you need to see. So this is how you're gonna get this wideband to actually record inside the HP Tuner software. From here, you can use this to set up an AFR air graph or do any of your wide open throttle tuning. If for some reason you're not able to find that WB EQ ratio channel in your channels list for your vehicle, you'll wanna break out your AEM instructions that came with your wideband and reference the section on how to actually change the CAN or OBD2 output for your ECM. To get your AEM X-Series wideband today, head over to our website, thetuningschool.com. I hope you enjoyed this video, and for more high-performance tuning knowledge, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media, and as always, stay tuned. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also check out our other videos. And if you're interested in any tuning products, check out our website.